bahala parang ayun okay. <clears throat> na okay so basically this uh, Einstein building is made of what we call a uh, reinforced concrete design so actually in ano in basic structural design so we have uh, reinforced concrete design um uh, steel design we also have timber design or wood construction and then we also have the composite if uh, the combination of steel and concrete design so if you will notice uh, the um, the structural elements such as beams columns are made of reinforced concrete this reinforced concrete design so which are combination of concrete and reinforcing steel so which is um, actually this is the most uh, widely used uh, no, reinforced, uh, uh, widely used in construction like in reinforced concrete design and just to give you a, a pre, uh, additional information the external walls are made of what they call as macro wall so that macro wall is made of um, uh, EPS EPS the known as Brancusium style coating, but the EPS is the expanded polystyrene. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> and EPS so styrofoam, and then um, they are fabricated on a certain sizes, and then you may think how how they are installed in aqual because since if let's say they are fabricated in a way of every one meter how how will you join this uh, this panel to this panel so they apply special glue i don't know what is the name so we're in they glue this uh, let's say this eps and then another panel of eps they glue this together para they are acting as one and then such time that glue becomes eps so they become the same same material and then some and then they also provide the enforcing bars the enforcing steel bars every i don't know what is the spacing and then they also apply wire mesh yung wire mesh yung parang chicken wire may madrilit na mesh wire mesh and then the, so yun yung magi ano that is the core material reinforcing bars and wire mesh and then they apply plastering their plastering are made of um, fiber uh, reinforced poly uh, fiber reinforced cement so that mortar is a combination of cement sand and then they also apply ano um, glass fiber reinforcement if I'm not mistaken meron silang binilagay so it adds on to the ano, additional strength of their plastering. So that is most likely for all external uh, external walls. But for internal walls, they are just um, typical section walls. And then they said those ano, uh, macro wall have good strength, uh, good strength, and then less maintenance, and then good insulation in terms of thermal and there's also good uh, acoustic so what's this acoustic uh, yung noise outside would not be heard inside okay. and then um, when it comes for the uh, architectural finishes so typical naman yan, no other special material and then since there is built last 2016 2015 yeah. That is actually one of the field field engineer of, uh, of this you know, uh, this project is my classmate. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, said uh, when I, when we are students, we were just always talking about kailan pa itatayo yung Einstein building, and then they said, oh, baka kayo na kasi magtatayo na mga alpha batch yan. So so ang nangyari, so ang nangyari no, totoo nga nangyari siya and then actually some of my students um um uh, uh, batch eco batch yung pang batch uh, i handled them in their reinforced concrete design lab and just so happened at that time it is under construction so we are able to go around with this na nakita namin on how they 
how this ano how the this Einstein was built. So, nakita pa namin how the form works, how the rebars, how the installments, and everything else. And then, um, um, moving on, moving on sa natin. So, so basically, yun naman yung, ano, yung basic components and the materials of this uh, Einstein building. And then, since it is built within 2016, so most likely, the code itself. So, we have those, what we call the National Structural Code of the Philippines. So we have the ang nabutan ko na lang is the 2001 ano NSCP and the 2010 NSCP and then just recently they have published a 2015 NSCP. So they have a quite difference when it comes with the um, uh, loadings parameters. So we're in it is most likely the 2010 and 2015 they have updated the width speed. Because if you will notice, the uh, the typhoon that struck the Bohol and then Kakloban is not a no, diba? It's serious, serious talaga siya. Take into consider na um, when you study uh, those uh, natural hazards such as the wind and seismic, eh, hindi naman siya usual nangyayari, yung occurrence. Matagal. So it means kapag matagal na return period, you would expect higher magnitude. So likewise for typhoon Ondoy, just to give you feed, just to give you pre feed, ano, preview what it is meant to be with with the return periods. The typhoon Ondoy is known to be a 100 year return period flood. Kaya ganun siya kalakas nung duman. So ibig sabihin, we have uh, there are some studies about on uh, on the design that say you would design a certain down, a certain attachment it has a return period of what? Yun ang usapan nun kasi it does the level of the flight. So higher return period it means ano, mas mataas yung expected na daily mo. So same with the earthquake. So earthquake is just extreme kasi yung design sa earthquake and according to 2010 NCP nagdahan ka pa mali as far as I can remember that is designed for about until 7.6 magnitude and then for 2015 they have updated this um, at the 8.2 magnitude and then they also updated the active faults active faults in the Philippines so, in cooperation with other the agency, so yung, this is very important that you have to determine yung sa mga, how your structures expose from those natural hazards. So, for example, sir, for the design of earthquake, you have to determine if this Einstein building, how far it is from the active faults nearby. So if it is less than 10 kilometers, we have a specific design to that. If it is greater than on this range, so we have uh, specific classes that identify your what would be your uh, design in terms of seismic. So actually, when it comes to the seismic, what we have to do here is to build a structure that is what we call moment resisting frame. So once we say moment resisting frame, I said those seismic loads are are acting as lateral loads or horizontal loads. Tahagan ah, siya. So ang magreresis na most likely is our columns, and then if you would see braces, sa mga most likely sa mga warehouses, mga braces, x bracing, and then one thing is shear walls. Yun yung mga typical ano how can we how can we strengthen our structures against seismic? So we have uh, shear walls located at the uh, elevator. The pinakaano na elevator, most likely that is the the what we call core shear walls. So they said that is the backbone of the ano uh, the structure. So then, sha meron tayong shear wall jan is located at the end. But if I feel safe, um. Somehow yes naman. <laughs> Somehow yes. So taking to consider that that this structure is ano, um, built 
using those updated um, NSCP code and before it it pass ano, um, it passes it passes um, there is a certain structural engineer that already checked this and then upon cons iba pa yung design pla design stage iba pa yung construction stage so upon construction stage so we have those um uh, an engineer a quality control engineer supervising engineer that that make sure that before this building turn over to its owner after construction all the design requirements have passed let's say um let's say uh si contractor they built this uh the shear walls and then once they already installed before mag pour ng concrete they have to do quality control or quality assurance so a quality engineer will go to this to that side then check according to the plan kung tama ba yung placement of the rebars and then before pa mag pour pero bago pa mag pour ng concrete they have to test the concrete all the material should be tested before everything else. So actually, that is the most critical part is the pouring of the concrete because once it is already poured, you never know what it is inside. But somehow, we have um, we have some of the non-destructive tests. But I don't know if they have performed here. But those non-destructive tests perform ano, most likely for updating. So let's say after 10 years, ano na ba yung ano, strength naman. And then, and somehow before I know before it turned over uh, it is already undergone the series of um, investigations and uh, inspections um, quite ano man, quite safe naman, feel safe naman in a way of hindi naman siya ganun kataas na na building it is already a five story and I see columns naman na very big, <laughs> diba? Parang hindi ka naman masyado maano. But, um, take into consider that it is a design limitation. Let's say it is designed for magnitude 8. So, if it will experience higher than magnitude 8, we don't know what will happen soon because uh, our location is just near of the uh, mm -hmm. the port line, the West Valley port system. So how the, the what they call the big one. So traveling from Metro Manila to San Pedro to Santo Domingo, Santa Rosa, and then the distance is not not that far. So kapag if you experience higher magnitude of eight or eight point two, most likely bakabi bigay ka. Yeah, not say because since ano nasabi naman yun sa structural design if hanggang saan naman to naka 